Shalom. First of all, I'd like to give all praises and glory and honor to to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai by Hashem, Kadash. Shalom to the uh, elders for preaching the word truth and sincerely. Shalom to the Akim, scattered through four corners of the globe, preaching word truth and sincerely as well, too. I say Shalom to the Akim up there, and this is a uh, sit down lesson that I want to bring out. This is from uh, RT.com, as of August the 7th, August the 7th 2023. From uh, Alternative World News from RT.com. I, I believe I recently did a video on this, but I believe this is a this is a, a update a couple of days later. And uh, this is a uh, news article, and it reads: U.S. alarmed by Russia China Navy patrol. Washington recently sent four destroyers to meet 11 warships near Alaska. Two American senators have said a large group of Russia and China warships passed near the coast of Alaska last week with a group of U.S. destroyers scrambling to shatter the naval patrol according to the U.S. defense officials have lawmakers. In a uh, statement on Saturday, two Republican senators representing the state of Alaska, uh, Lisa Markowski and Dan Silverman, said a total of 11 ships have been detected in trans siding U.S. waters in Altenston, citing a classified briefing and labeling the activity as an inclusion. Silverman said it marks yet another reminder that we have entered a new era of alternative aggression led by dictators in Beijing and Washington, adding that he was pleased to see a robust U.S. response involving four American destroyers. Meanwhile, the U.S. Uh, Northern commander has confirmed that Russia and China ships were indeed conducting a patrol in the area, but did not provide details on the number of ships involved. The agency spokesperson also noted, according to the Wall Street Journal, that air and medicine assets under our command conduct operations to assure the defense of the U.S. and Canada. However, the officials did not conform senators were marking about the inclusion, stressing that the Chinese-Russian forces remains in international waters and was not considered a threat. Brett Sandler and Center Research Phil the Heritage Foundation has called the patrol a historical first and highly proactive considering tensions over Taiwan and the Ukraine conflict, the Wall Street Journal reported. On Friday, the uh, Russian Defense Ministry stated that Moscow's Navy was continuing its patrols in the Pacific together with China's warship and sailing through the seas of Japan and La Paz Strait and the Odas, Okhotsk Steep and the uh, Kam Kamakata Strait, if I pronounced that right. It was kind of hard for me to pronounce that name, but continuing on, it added that the drill involved in a joint anti-submarine exercise as well as the helicopter landing and takeoff from the decks of each other ship. Commenting on the war games, Lu Pengu, spokesperson for the Chinese ambassador in Washington, insists that this action is not targeted at any third party. It has nothing to do with any current international and regional situations. Apparently refers to the Ukraine conflict and the standoff between Washington and Beijing on the Taiwan. This is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 6. And ye should hear of wars and rumors of wars, right? So there's a lot of increasing of these uh, wars and rumors of wars are definitely heating up. And I'm reading again from BibleGateway.com, and it reads the whole scriptures. And ye should hear of wars and rumors of wars. See that ye be not troubled, for all these things must first come to pass, but the end is not yet. Matthew 24, verse 7. As we continue to see the tensions increasing between uh, China versus the United States and Russia versus the United States, as we continue to see the uh, increasing economic alliance 
and warlike alliance between uh, China and Russia going against uh, the United States as the Texas continued to soar, you know. And I was reading that news article that uh, the United States, they was on high alert, you know, they was on high alert in regards to the uh, latest uh, naval patrol between Russia and China patrolling the areas not too far near Alaska. And it says, um, number read again, this is the book of Matthew, chapter 24, verse 7, and it reads the Holy Scriptures. For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom. And there shall be famines and pestilence and earthquakes in diverse places. So with that, hopefully this uh, sit down less was edifying of this recent news article uh, as of yesterday, because today is the August the 8th, and this is published on August the 7th, 2023. Alternative World News, RT.com, as it says again, U.S. alarmed by Russia and China Navy Patrol. So with that, I would like to give all praises and glory and honor to Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Hashem, Akakadash. Shalom to the uh, elders for which the world truth and sincerely. And Shalom to the Akim, scattered before the corner of the world, which the world truth and sincerely as well too. And until next time, I will say Shalom.